What on earth is this behemoth? We are gonna have some fun today. In response to me creating the Necron painting guide for Gordon's tiny human, he has printed, built and gifted me this insane creation. Madness. I'm an advocate for finding fun projects to work on in between painting batches of minis and I love the idea of decorating our hobby space to make it unique for us. Today isn't just about me though. If you like the idea of this as a fun project for yourself, then watch along as I'll show you how to obtain one even if you don't have a 3D printer and how to paint it. Shall we dive in? I searched the Cults website and came across this design for a life-size Primaris bolt pistol. An excellent design by Hippopropamus. I've got a smaller printer so I had to chop some parts down to fit my print bed. I did this using the built-in Windows 3D Builder tool. Then I set to work slicing the files in Prusa Slicer. This was an easy process and the parts printed really well. After a quick visit to a hardware store to buy some bolts, all that was left was a light sanding and a bit of epoxy glue to hold it all together. Much as I love the Nerf colours, I can't wait to see what it looks like with a more realistic palette from Mike. Let's have a look at the model itself. Gordon's outdone himself here because it's really heavy and he's put it together so well and he's gone to the effort of making a mag release. So you can put a mag in and out. That's really cool. I want to get started on painting this because I'm really excited and I'm quietly confident that I could probably get this painted within a day. Let's get priming. I've started with the black prime of the whole model and then using a can of lead belcher spray, I've crudely targeted areas that I want to be metallic. I didn't mask off any areas, so there's some overspray in parts, but as you'll soon discover, I'm going for a dark and weathered final look, so it'll suit. Also, no footage of me priming, because I know you're capable of picturing a grown man spraying his nerf gun in short bursts while the neighbours aren't watching. Anyway, painting a model this size could be an expensive affair if we treat it as a normal mini, so our goal for today is to keep this affordable for us. Large $2 store brushes and paints will feature heavily. Gunmetal Grey from Vallejo is a very thin metallic and will paint on easily. I'm using this to get to any tricky places that the spray wasn't suitable for. If you have a more cost effective metallic, then go for it, but I found that because this paint covers so smoothly that I didn't end up using much at all. Now Gordon has assembled this for me, but he's assured me that if you can build Warhammer models, then you can build this model. Tidying up the grip with a coat of black. I'm also painting the front grip in black as well. The model will have some bright colours to come, which is why these paints are so bland. I just don't want to overdo it. Now we don't want to be spending $100 on fancy known oil just to give this model a wash. So instead, I'm going to try and create my own. I'm mixing together black paint, matte medium and some airbrush thinner. Let's see how it looks. I'm coating all of the metallic areas with this wash and I'm really happy with it. I just can't seem to get enough of painting with sponge at the moment and it's likely because of my artistic prowess being comparable to a caveman. A couple of different shades of grey and this adds some texture to the grip which I picture is made out of rubber and has been worn a little from a journey across the unknown universe dispatching anything that looks a little bit different. These are inexpensive acrylic paints and I've picked out these great looking brushes. Now I really want to use these brushes for stippling but they end up being too hard. So I'm going to revert back to my current favourite painting technique which is using packing foam. Mixing colours around on my palette to create a dark brown then reds and then working my way lighter towards an orange. All the while, dab, dab, dab. I really like the look of so many 3D printed minis and props, but the idea has always been so out of reach for me because I don't own a 3D printer and I can't really justify the initial expense to get one. And I probably don't have room in my house to set one up. Also, I'm not that tech minded. Exploring online, I can see that there are plenty of smaller companies and individuals that use 3D printing as a side hustle. The files themselves are generally inexpensive and having something like this FDM printed and posted across from me definitely falls within my budget. You can see that by sponging on the colours, I'm creating a weathered and grimy battle-worn look to this bolt pistol. To add some more damage, I'm sponging the gunmetal grey on corners and areas where the bolt pistol would have scraped and knocked against ship bulkheads 
ruined buildings, and bonked on enemy heads. Imperial soldiers look after their weapons, but maybe this one lay discarded in rubble from a slain warrior only to be recovered later by a scavenger. What I'm getting at here is that I want to add some more colour and weathering with browns to create grime and rust that is pulled in sections or streaked down the casing. Finally, I want to use some weathering powder to show you the fun effects you can achieve with them. I'm using only the black, but I'm applying it around the muzzle and also the right hand side ejection port, where all of the carbon from the discharge rounds is caking on. Again, this is telling the story that the last time the weapon was used was in the middle of a back and forth intense firefight. It's finished! All up, this took me around 3 hours to paint and honestly I couldn't be happier. A cheeky little afternoon project and it's given me something to decorate the shelf behind me. But let's take a closer look. Now comes the part where you tell Gordon what you'd like him to print and build for me next. It doesn't have to be 40k related, it can be anything. But by smooth talking you into leaving comments below, I'm secretly strong arming Gordon into providing me more goodies. It's foolproof. Ooh, I'll put this on the wall behind me. Give me a second and I'll be with you. There, and do I put the other one next to Maybe not, let's have a look. Thank you so much to everyone for continuing to support the channel. I'm having so much fun with it. By liking and subscribing, you help others to find the channel, but you do you. I hope you've enjoyed the video and I'll see you on the next one.